Well, my name is Dr. Michael Freak. I teach at Lee University, uh, which is a liberal arts university in Cleveland, Tennessee. I have about 4,000 students there. And I teach biology, uh, particularly ecology and environmental science. And I usually end up with perhaps five or six students working for me over the summer. And we do surveys in the Cherokee National Forest uh, and, the, and the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Okay. Well, we're here at the Kanalafti River and we're uh, interested in doing surveys with uh, hellbenders, um, which is a declining species. Um, it appears as though they've declined uh, within the park itself over the last 50 years or so. And so we've been spending the last three or four years uh, visiting streams in the Smokies, surveying them for hellbenders, and basically trying to work out where they are and uh, how the populations are doing. So one of the challenges of working in the Smokies is uh, trying to understand exactly what kind of a population we have and uh, how healthy the populations are. Uh, the Smokies are a hard place to survey because there's a lot of, uh, a lot of rocks, a lot of places for them to hide, and uh, we spend all day turning rocks, and um, it, it, can, it can be very challenging. And some, some things that are puzzling us at the moment is why there's so much difference in populations between uh, different rivers. Um, some, po some populations seem to be very abundant with lots of larvae, lots of juveniles, and they seem to be doing great. Whereas our other populations uh, appear to be um, much rarer, and uh, we're finding it hard to find juveniles and, and larvae. Common threats would be development, whether it's agricultural or whether it's uh, suburban. Um, in the Tennessee Valley, building uh, dams for hydroelectric power has basically inundated many of the historical populations. It seems as though, generally speaking, putting sediment into the river is the one thing that will always cause all the problems for, for hellbender populations. The only rivers that have really showed anything up are Little River, Deep Creek and a few here as well. Uh, we haven't found any in Little Pigeon. We found one big male in Abrams Creek. Some of the healthiest populations in the United States are here in the Southern Appalachians and it's mostly because we have such high quality rivers. Um, you know, there's not so much, there's a little problem with sediments, there's no problems with mining, all those kinds of things that tend, tended to uh, cause hellbenders to decline in other areas are pretty much absent here. So there should be really good populations in these rivers.